Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. It's going to be a good one, too. Before we get into this edition of Friday's Finds, remember to click the howdy button down there. Say howdy. And... Post a comment. Tell me what you like best about Friday's find. Let's get to it. Look at a stack of boxes. Actually, it's going to be four items. Maybe five. Four for sure. Maybe five. Back out here working, working outside. Bagmanium moss is starting to grow. Fill in around the Nipthenes, the monkey pots. Got a new one making right there. So I, I, I let them dry out a little bit, kind of duplicating nature. And in case you're wondering, I'm, I'm working on a comparison of arugula. So this is a hydroponic, the crakity kind of hydroponic system. This is just potting soil. I planted these two weeks before I planted the, hydro, the, little, the hydroponics thing you saw last week. Yeah, so that was... Two weeks into that so these are four weeks that's a week you all see what's in the inside let's go we'll go inside and look at the garden and then come out here and open some boxes we've used about half the water two weeks worth of growth that's gonna be <laughs> yappy's been gone for a week she hasn't seen this that's so that's actually just one week's worth of growth six days seven days so she's actually going to be able to start dining on this when she gets back. Can't believe how fast that's growing. Okay, let's go open some box. Now, I, I know some of y'all have commented on the Starlink. You noticed that we had a, a third generation antenna. And that is because we started having some connection issues. Actually, it was... It was more, that's more of a singular week. Yappy was having some connective issues with her job. And for some reason, we couldn't figure out, even Starlink really couldn't figure out why we were getting these, why we were having interruptions with our Gen 1. Uh, replaced cords, cables, all that. Been a little bit frustrated. Well, now we ended up with two Starlinks, which is not a bad thing, because that's going to work with, future plans but let's open a box that way you'll under I'm, i kind of set it up you know you know some starlink things are coming down the line first package is from lucimo they reached out to me that's originally talking about starlink gen 1 products and i told them oh, I, I have Two different Starlings now. And they said, oh, you have a Gen 3. We want it. We, we got a new brand new product for Gen 3. And the Gen 3, the one thing I don't I haven't cared for, it just has a kickstand. And so sitting down on the ground, and out here it was just getting covered up with sand. And I need to get it up. I want to be able to mount it on my my, my flagpole that goes on the back for the other Starlink. But I haven't been able to find a Starlink sells an adapter, but it doesn't it doesn't fit that pipe. So that's where the old ball old ball US store comes into play. They have sent us their brand new Gen 3 Starlink pipe adapter. And right off of the bat I can see this may be problematic because I know that's quite a bit larger. Doesn't mean I can't use it. But let me let me open some more boxes and we'll explore that. We'll see what kind of creative solutions I can come up with. Let's open a box. We're going from kind of smallish to kind of largest. So our next one, we have a returning sponsor. They came back for more. What's up with that? Levin headset. Y'all remember Levin? 
they, they sell really cool, really nice headsets. I've worked with several of their products. This is a brand new Bluetooth headset. And this couldn't have arrived at a better time because yesterday when I sat down to edit, earpiece popped off. <laughs> Lost the pen and I like over the ear headset for editing. Oh, I guess it would help if I, if I let y'all see what I'm doing too. Instruction manual, their instructions are always very, very easy to understand. We have the over the ear. I'm liking that. It's got a microphone. A little Bluetooth dongle. That's mighty handy. And check that out. That is, is that not stylish or what? I suppose it sits just like that. And we have a cable so you can plug it in and, and charge it. So let me get it charged up, hooked up, set up. Meanwhile, two more to go. Our next one's not in a box. It actually was in a one of, those, one of those Amazon bags, and it comes to us from, wait a minute, Vors, Vorspack. 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 They, they must know that we rely on a lot of bags and stuff. They reached out. They said, you need one of these. And I think they may be right. It is. Ah, check that out. A little, little toiletry bag. Oh. Hey, that's cool. Oh, this, she's going to... She's gonna take it from me. <laughs> oh, I know she's gonna take it. I know she's gonna take this one from me. Look at all these, these pouches. You put it over the suitcase handle. You got a wheeled suitcase. Water bottles and snacks and emergency kit in the bottom. Yeah, so I'm a, I have to pack this up. We'll we'll put some some stuff in this bag. We'll bag some stuff on this edition of Friday's Finds. The bagging stuff. Friday's Finds. Now, it started out as a one thing and turned into another thing altogether, and then it got shipped to the other address, and so I had to drop what I was doing and make a three-hour drive one way, six-hour round trip for that but i'm excited i'm i'm very excited about this it's right after we got when we first moved out here we're here because we we want to do more traveling but we need to be able to kind of keep an eye on the place while we're gone to do that we need some kind of internet kind of cellular some kind of connection and cellular is really hit and miss out here so we're going we're going satellite and that's where this this thing comes into play and it's heavy. And no, it's not a refrigerator. Looks kind of like a refrigerator. It's not a refrigerator, but it, but it looks kind of like a refrigerator. It actually goes like this. This is a weather tight locking box. Hi, and you're asking. Okay. And it's actually intended for electric car charger. There's also so it has combination and it has a key. So you put your charging cord here, and you hang your transformer booster thing there. 
bring power in there and you can have cables coming in there. So what I propose to do is I'm gonna put that on a pole off the ground and I'm going to put our Starlink and Wi-Fi 6 router, a really strong router that I'm going to, that I connect to that Gen 1 Starlink. But I'm gonna put that whole assembly in here, mount it to a pole. That way we have a broad Wi-Fi footprint so I can put up Wi-Fi cameras. And you're saying, well, what about the green box? Well, the green box is sitting down there and it's too far not to mention it's a metal building that interferes with transmission and i know this is a metal box but i can put an antenna outside i could do the same down there but hey this is friday's fine so i gotta do something with this box <laughs> so that's the i gotta do something with this box so i might as well put it on a pole and put my a secondary starlink unit my, a secondary internet port in it so that, that's tomorrow's because it's getting hot so we'll be doing that tomorrow morning I'll probably just do it and show you what I do. Meanwhile, we got to work with some of this other stuff. Don't go away. Technology. What would we do without it? I kind of li I like the design. I've looked at several of these, and I like this design. This is for the Starlink Gen 3. One of the things I really like about it is they've, they've put a flat surface in here so that you're not pushing up a round thing against the angle. One of my, my challenge is, about a year ago, I featured a flagpole ladder mount Starlink antenna pole. This is what I'm holding in my hand right here. And we're gonna, you're gonna get to see it on the back of the RV. It's got brackets, it goes on my ladder. It's got a, an adapter so the Gen 1 Starlink fits down in here. Well, I wanna mount the Gen 3 so that when I'm in a public campground, I can get my Starlink up off the ground. Problem is, <laughs> that's a smaller pipe. That's like a kind of a three quarter, not quite. And that's kind of a one inch, but, but not quite. So I'm trying to figure out how to marry these two together. I went and did some shopping. Here's what I came up with. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of moving parts going on here. This is a three quarter inch to three quarter inch. So it's three quarter PVC to slip on to a three quarter inch female thread. This is a female to female three quarter inch schedule 40. And then we have just a regular three quarter inch schedule 40 slip coupling to three quarter inch two inch brass. I went with brass so I didn't have to worry about rust and all that. One, two, three. Now we don't need any nylon tape for this because it's literally, there's no water flowing through it. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I need to marry those two together. Let me, let me work with this and I'll be back. You ready, you ready to see the on location Starlink cabinet? There it is. Plenty of room in there. I could actually put a shelf in here and then I could put a payphone in there. Y'all even remember what a payphone is? That's it. I, I like the fact that I can set a combination. That way if I lose the key, I can still get in. So I can mount a camera and I think I'm gonna do it, put a camera right there. So if there's somebody on the property before they realize I got their picture, of course I have camera up there. And with this, I'll have cameras spread around the property. Which also let us know that we don't have power. So we can set up an alert that'll let us know. So this, this box is, is a great, handy thing to have and if if you do have an ev and you need a good charging station there you go you don't have to worry about somebody coming up and just taking your power moving right along there we are i need to cut the bolts off i don't have too much pipe and that 
that is gonna be perfect. And we're able to fit that onto the pole. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refresh. I'll, I'll provide a link to the flagpole as well. It didn't take very long to put it all together and it works perfect. I really like the bracket better than any that I've seen so far on the, the Starlink aftermarket. Okay, air conditioners are going. So you hear a little background noise. I love you, but I'm not turning the air conditioner off for you. Maybe on a cooler day. It's 100, about 100 degrees out there and very humid. All right, so I'm gonna, we're gonna put some stuff in this bag. Rather than putting a bunch of clothes in here to expedite this bagging process, I am going to use blankets. We'll start off in this bottom compartment. So, you know, so if you're traveling and this is your carry-on, and this, this, this is a lot of room, you can put a, a whole change of clothes in there. Let's see if we can fit this blanket. Now this this is a, a smaller blanket. It's, it's not even, I don't even think it's a twin. I think it's considered a throw. But it's a big old fuzzy, bulky, sleep number special. On sale special. I like the zippers at both ends. that we still have a whole lot of space to fill up so we'll go with the even bigger bigger blanket let's see is that about the right width it is about the right width I think we're going to do a Triple fold. Well, looky there. Now we still have room on the side. But wait, there's more. I don't think we can put a, oh, another blanket. <clears throat> oh, we can sure enough try. be mad the wife is the wife is yappy's gonna be mad if I bust these zippers hey we got to put it to the test right three big blankets dual zippers on that one as, as well. So dual zippers on this one, the bottom compartment, single zip on this side. Now we need to be able to throw it up on my shoulder. With the handy dandy shoulder strap. Now, we have a nice, actually a very nice carry-on piece. We'll put makeup, soap, all that in a little toiletry kit here. And that's right on the end. And there's the two end pockets here, so you can stick it right there. 
easy access to it in case you need it. If you're afraid somebody might steal your toothbrush, you can put that inside the bag. That's a very spacious bag right there. <clears throat> Once again, it's got the handle loop, so you can put it on top of your rolling suitcase. All right, moving right along. The Levin Bluetooth headset. I really like this Levin Bluetooth headset. It's crystal clear. And, whoop, and when we're talking on the mic, Yappy said it's just like I was in the same room with her, but it does a great job of canceling out that air conditioner noise. So she was really excited. One of the main reasons that she's so excited is because her company provided computer requires any headset that she uses it has to be uh, with a dongle. It can't just be Bluetooth. It has to have the dongle. So even if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, you can have a Bluetooth wireless headset. The sound quality is just fantastic. I like that I can just put it on the charger. I've got a place to get it out of, out of sight, and it gets recharged. So far, the charge, it's been three days, and I have not needed to recharge it. Well, it's got good battery life too. You'll be very happy with this. I know I am. Just in time for the end of this video. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we're at the end of this Friday's Finds video. My, all of these items can be found on Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer and I do get paid if you make a purchase. Your business is most appreciated. I will provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Dude RV gear recommendations page on Amazon and the Friday's Finds shopping list where all the items that I have featured on this show can be found. I will also include direct product links. So if you don't want to go and check out the, the playlist, the shopping list, then just click the product that you're interested in. I know the vendors would really appreciate your assistance as well. Just visiting their, their product listing helps with their metrics as well. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with the, the algorithm and it touches my heart as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That is why I get to do what I do. It wouldn't happen if it wasn't for your, the time. If you didn't take the time to watch, like, subscribe, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't happen. So thank you for that. And for our patrons, I'm most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?